Hey everyone, my name is Rick Morgan and I bought a new heat press. Uh, you've probably seen dozens or maybe hundreds of my uh, now 504 videos. I've use been using the same press all this time. I just got a new one just because it's this one right here. This beauty, it's, it's a, by Vivorg on Amazon. It's a 15 by 15 one. Seems to work great. It's great, I like it because it's not a, it's a, a clamshell design, not a fulcrum design, which I like because it gives more even pressure. Otherwise, what can I say? It seems to work pretty good so far. So anyway, I just wanted to do not really an unboxing, but a, a first use video and a little example of how I press one book. And uh, anyway, I hope you like it and it's enjoyable. Take care. Bye-bye. Here's a short flyover view by my son, Nolan. That's the video before we did anything to it. This is what it looked like as it came out of the box. So I'm gonna put this 15 by 15 board here in the bottom. And this has a really like a snappy kind of clamshell. So I thought the handle for me is I got to hold this down while I pull it up. So to set it, zoom in on here, Nolan. I click temp. You can go up or down to change the temperature. If you press up and down for a few seconds, it'll change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Maybe let go. And let's see, I don't know what that did. I know something happened. There, at Fahrenheit. And you can go to Celsius, but I want it in Fahrenheit, so I'm gonna click temp there, and I just leave it. And then it goes, I'm not sure what these other settings are. I think it worked. Okay, it's good. And then, so this one will, when it goes up, it resets to 600 seconds. So when I press down, the timer will start at 599. You're showing that? People can see, okay. So let's do it, let's do a demonstration. We'll show. All right, so let's get a book. So we're going to press this Daredevil book. I'll let you see some of the... It's pretty wrinkly, especially down here, if you can see how bad that is. And then you can catch some of that, and we'll see if we can alleviate it a little bit. You can even see it from the bottom a little, actually. Oh, yeah. You yeah, you that? can definitely see that. That's a good idea. All right, we're going to preheat the bottom. So we're going to turn this up. And we're going to preheat the bottom of the... There, so we'll let this get nice and warm before we start. Then we're going to take a chamfer board here. I'm going to put it, instead of using a silicone sheet, I'm going to put it just under the first page of this particular book. I'm not going to do the back cover this time. Look how dirty this is. We'll get work on those stains another time, but just for demonstration purposes, we'll just show the top. And then we'll put a silicone sheet over it. And then we're going to put a board on top and we'll, that'll be our sandwich. And we'll show you in just a moment. All right, I'm going to put a piece of silicone paper down on it. I have a Teflon sheet there too. It's not really necessary. It's just to help keep things cleaner. I don't transfer a lot of dirt and ink to my aluminum board. I've got my chamfer pressing board here. I'm going to put a piece of silicone paper on top of this guy. Then I'm going to put a board here. And I'm going to put another aluminum board on top of this. The bottom's been preheated. The top will preheat soon enough. Then, call it known, show me the top here. This is that 167. We're going to sandwich this guy down. And too hard. Okay, so we're going to remove the book now. Okay, we'll check for the top one. Make sure that the book is falling. There it goes. Make sure. Okay, and we'll take a look over here. And how's it look? It looks better. We're going to need to cold press it for couple of days. It's flatter than it was. And uh, we'll go ahead and put this on top and cold press it. And then in uh, about, about two to three days, it should be, should be ready. So for those who want to see, here's the initial image and the final image in comparison. So you can see them and compare.
So do I have any final thoughts? Uh, yep, yeah, it's a heat press, all right. It seems well built, honestly. It's sturdy, so it doesn't move around. It doesn't try to get away from me when I'm pressing it down because it's nice and heavy. I like that it is a clamshell type, like I said, or not a fulcrum type, which is great. I like it when there's pressure even front to back. I don't have to shim it or use clamps or anything. It has a little handle on the front that helps you to like hold it down while you're pulling it up so that you don't you know tip the whole thing back. It's convenient, and you know I've only had it. I only used it once, so I don't really know besides that, but. It seems sturdy and well made and it's pretty cheap. It's like 180 bucks on Amazon. So I'll put a link in the description. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and uh, Missy here says hello too, right Missy? Yep, she's, she's hanging out with me this weekend. So all right, take care, bye-bye.